Hey everyone, I cannot wait to share this super cool trick in Canva I just learned. Don't know why no one else has taught me this ever. I've done so many courses on Pinterest and like Instagram and bulk creating and stuff and yet no one mentions this and it's driving me crazy that I didn't know it before. I might have actually like tried Pinterest properly if I'd known this. So we all know with like Pinterest and stuff you need to be pinning a million pins a day. And the biggest thing is creating all of those pins takes a lot of time. So with this quick and easy tip that is available to all Canva Pro members, you're going to be able to speed this up so much. So all you need to do this is your Canva Pro account and ChatGPT because we're going to speed this up even more. Now I'm going to preface this and say, I'm not a Pinterest expert, so like I did not put a lot of thought into these titles. Right now this is just for sample purposes. Um, you would definitely give Jasper, or Jasper, sorry, ChatGPT a better um, prompt up here that would be more what you want. Um, again, this is just for example purposes, so don't judge our selection. But what I did is I asked ChatGPT to ask us act as a Pinterest expert and write a couple pin texts for us to put over an image. I just like made up a name for a post, um, gave it a couple things about like eight words per title just because of the template we have and making sure it's highly clickable. Now you could even give it a bunch of different names of posts to go with. If you have GPT-4, I'm doing this in GPT-3 because I always like to do my tests and my experiments for people in the free version so you can like see how the free version does it. You can just upload a bunch of URLs to different posts and it will generate the same way. So here we have 10, which is great. Definitely you could do like 50, 100 at once if you want with this, but we're just gonna go quickly. So I got it to put it into a table. You will need this, this is important. Then I added a first line and a URL to the thing. Again, that is just based on what our template looks like basically. So different templates, you'll adjust what you need. But we basically need one column for each item. So travel guide is gonna be one, this text is going to be one, and then the URL is going to be one as well. So now you're just gonna come in and copy this. You're gonna only copy the actual table rows, you're not gonna copy the headers. And you're gonna to go to apps and you're gonna search for bulk create. Now I don't need it because I've already got it down here, but basically you'll just search the word bulk, it's the only thing that comes up, and then you'll get to this step here. You're gonna click enter data manually, and then you can just paste it in and it'll automatically adjust. Now you have to write in the headers up here. You can literally write one, two, three if you want. Um, I just I don't know, I kind of like to do it a little bit helpfully to myself because I might forget. So here we have first text and URL, super simple. You can also add images. I'll be honest, it glitches a bit. So, and, and you can only add images that you already have saved in your account. With most of us for Pinterest pulling images from like the free Canva photos, it can't do that. You have to go in, pre-download them, and that just takes extra work. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. So then we hit done and we get our data fields over here. But now we have to get them onto this post. So all you have to do is come over to the post and select the bit that you want. Oops, I don't want that bit, I want the text. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, my hotel Wi-Fi is very slow, come on. Okay, so you're gonna select whatever bit you want, right click, hit connect data and then select whatever it is. So for that one it was first and you'll see it changes it to basically be a variable. We're gonna do it again if my hotel Wi-Fi will work with me. There we go. So now we have one for each section and we're gonna hit continue. It's going to double check that you want to do it for all of the things that you added. We do, so we're going to hit generate. It's going to create a new bulk design, basically, of e like one pin per thing you just gave it. So each row is basically going to be a pin unto itself. Now, is this perfect? No, it still takes a second. So as you can see here, it's a bit too long. Um, if I go through and I notice, okay, they're all too long, like maybe yeah, these are all too long for them to fit. What you can do is go back here, just redo it, just adjust the text before you do it. Maybe take it down to, we'll just take it down to 40. 
see what that does. I might even move it up a little bit just in case. And we'll generate again. Can delete the other one after. And once it loads, it's usually a lot faster. I'm just on very terrible hotel Wi-Fi right now. Um, you will have 10 custom made pins, basically. You might need to adjust things a little bit. And of course, we're gonna wanna change out that picture so you have a unique picture for each one. But here you can see now the text fits. You can just drag it down if you needed to. If I'd paid more attention, I would have experimented with this before I moved it over um, and then saved myself that hassle. But you can see they're all pretty good. Like they basically, they all fit to the majority of the extent. And then I would just go to photos and start like searching, I don't know, roam and dragging and dropping a photo to each one. Bing, bam, boom, I am done. And with this, you can bulk create so many pins. And remember as well, like you can use the same template and while you might need to run ChatGPT a couple of times for different posts, like that um, first manual entry we made can have so many columns. Like you can easily do 50 or 100. So you could actually, based on a template or two of yours, bulk create all of your pins for a month. I don't know how many pins you're supposed to do per day, so don't know the number of that, but you could do them all this way. And then just make the little tweaks you need to make to adjust them a little bit. So the best thing to do to start is to have like templates that you love using on your site. Um, maybe even have some custom ones that are like branded to your colors pre-done. Like if I was gonna use this and my site was all about the color blue, I'd change like the beige down here to blue first maybe change the fonts, whatever, like just to make it something I can easily reuse across my site. Or you can even just click in to the design area and maybe you just pick out some other templates that you like. Now you can do this for ones with numbers as well. I find that ChatGPT 3.5 isn't great about putting the number at the front. Um, however, GPT-4 seems to be better about that. But worst case, you just create a column and maybe the columns all have the same number. So it doesn't really matter if it has a number in it or anything. It does get more complicated when you get to templates like this, where like there's a bunch of different size lines because each one is going to have to be its own element. So then you have to be really careful about the length of them. And for those ones, it probably is easier to just copy and paste. Um, this is just a way to like, I love a lazy girl hack everything in my life I want to automate. So something like this where everything is basically the same size up here, you're always going to have a little tip down there and then always going to have your URL here. That's really easy to reuse time and time again. And most people do seem to be doing that with their own site with their pins. So not a far stretch. You can even do this for animated pins where you pre-animate them. You can also do this for videos and MP4s. Like this doesn't just work for Pinterest. This works for everything in Canva, which is so cool. So even if you had a bunch of checklists you wanted to make for different parts of your site, you could do that. It would take a little bit longer to like click through all the check boxes, I guess, unless they're all one um, like text box, but doable, very much doable. And that's the great thing is that this can really, really speed up your content creation. I already use AI to automate things on my blog. I use it to automate things off my blog. And now I get to use it on Canva to automate these kind of things um, by using ChatGPT tied with Bulk Create. And again, Bulk Create is included for any pro member, but you have to have a paid Canva account. It's also on the enterprise plans, but like most of us bloggers just have the pro plan. And with that, you'll be able to do this really, really easily. Um, definitely still take a minute to adjust them in the end and do like actually learn how to write a better pin title than the ones that we have here and then guide chat GPT with that knowledge. Um, I just, I wanted to do an example quickly. So yeah, not the best pin titles, <laughs> but the like, the focus is there. And also this does really work well as well. If you wanted, uh, to ask ChatGPT to create a ton of like fun facts or um, quotes or jokes or something for you to just put as like a quote pin, which I don't know if those are like still a thing anymore. They used to be. Um, oh, that's because it's filtered. If I let's type quote. 
Yeah, so we've got tons of quote options here. Those would be so easy and so great to do with ChatGPT where you just like get it to create a quote or find quotes for you, auto add them in, in this bulk method, and you've got like hundreds of pins ready to go then, which is epic. You could also do the same for Instagram, like posts you could probably do it for reels as well um, as long as you like animate or set a duration for the time that certain things are going to be on screen and then you're good to go i've even seen people do this with youtube shorts um, where they were like automating their youtube channel and this was one of the methods to really speed it up and create like easy quote video kind of posts which is really cool okay have tons of fun doing this and yeah i can't wait to see what you guys create